MPOC's outbreak and the lessons from COVID. Hello and welcome. I'm Afmia Yaleo and this is News Analytica. Earlier this week, the World Health Organization announced that it will convene an emergency committee to determine whether the current surge of NPOX cases constitute a public health emergency of international concern. The virus has affected over 14,000 people across 10 African Union member states, resulting in more than 450 deaths, with the Democratic Republic of Congo alone accounting for 96% of these cases. As the world faces the threat of another potential pandemic, the impact of COVID-19 provides a harsh lesson for the vulnerabilities in our global health systems. In today's episode, we will explore how the ongoing legacy of the COVID-19 can inform and shape our response to the MPOX outbreak. The MPOX outbreak, particularly in the Democratic Republic of Congo, is a stark reminder that infectious diseases still pose significant threats, especially in regions with strained healthcare systems. Unlike COVID-19, which causes widespread global disruption, the MPOX outbreak has so far been more localized. However, since the start of 2024, a new variant of the MPOX virus known as Clade one b has rapidly spread in eastern DRC and extended its reach to neighboring countries. Burundi, Kenya, Rwanda, and Uganda, which had never reported MPOX cases before, are now grappling with their first ever infections. The Africa Centers for Disease Control and Prevention report that over 14,000 cases have been recorded across 10 African Union member states, resulting in more than 450 deaths. The DRC alone accounts for 96% of these cases, bearing the burden of this health crisis. With cases in the first half of 2024 already matching the total for all of the 2023, the threat of the MPOX is real and escalating. In response, the WHO is preparing to evaluate the situation, emphasizing the need for swift and coordinated global health responses. An urgency will learn to elevate imperfectly during the COVID-19 pandemic. Reflecting on the COVID-19 pandemic, we must confront the harsh realities that emerged during that time. With over 765 million confirmed cases and more than 7 million deaths globally, the pandemic's human toll was devastating. But beyond the health impacts, the pandemic exposed deep flaws in our preparedness and response mechanisms, which had far-reaching political, social, and economic consequences. The initial response to COVID-19 was plagued by underestimations, leading to delayed interventions. Healthcare systems worldwide were overwhelmed, the critical ICU occupancy and disruptions to routine services becoming the norm. The need for a more robust healthcare infrastructure and preparedness was never more evident, particularly in regions like Africa, where systems were already under strain. In this regard, the current MPOX outbreak concentrated in the DRC threatens to exasperate these existing challenges, potentially overwhelming local healthcare capacities. The COVID-19 pandemic also revealed significant political challenges as governments struggled to coordinate responses and maintain public trust. Inconsistent public health guidelines, often driven by political agendas rather than scientific evidence, hampered efforts to control the virus. The declaration of an international emergency for MPOX, if it occurs, will test the political will and cooperation of affected nations and international bodies alike. Given past criticisms, particularly of the WHO's initial handling of COVID-19, this response will be scrutinized intensely. Socially, the pandemic widened inequalities. Lower income workers faced disproportionate job losses and the wealth gap between the rich and the poor grew significantly. In Africa, the COVID-19 pandemic's social impact was particularly severe as educational disruptions and increased food insecurity highlighted pre-existing vulnerabilities. The current MPOX outbreak, though not yet as widespread, risks further entrenching these social disparities, if not managed effectively. Economically, COVID-19 caused a staggering $16 trillion impact, equivalent to about 11% of global GDP. Many countries experienced significant economic contractions with a 3.5% global GDP shrinkage in 2020. The World Bank noted a rise in extreme poverty, with an additional 71 million people falling below the poverty line. Despite massive economic stimulus efforts, the wealth gap widened and poverty rates surged. Africa, already facing economic challenges, was hit hard, with trade, 
tourism, and investment pointing. The resurgence of MPOX in Africa is a critical moment that demand global attention and action. And the lessons from the COVID-19 pandemic must now guide the response to this new threat. The failures and successes of the past few years have taught us that swift, coordinated action coupled with clear communication and equitable resource distribution is essential in managing health crises. The world cannot afford to repeat past mistakes. That is all for today. Thank you for watching and make sure you join us again tomorrow for another edition of News Analytica.